compose the number of columns are same using the dots. So square 9. Next number will be how much? 16. Correct. Now children 16. When I am telling 16 you have to see. 16 is a um, very interesting number. Can you tell me why? Now 16 can be written as 4 into 4. Do you agree? Right? So let me first arrange it in the form of a square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is giving the, um, it is giving uh, the shape of a square. Right? But 16 can also be written as 2 into 8. Do you all agree? 2 into 8 means 2. 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 8, 16 and it is giving the shape of a rectangle. Yes or no? So 16 can be arranged in the form of a line, in the form of a rectangle, in the form of a square. So we got a very important question. We ask examples, give example of numbers which can be arranged in the form of line also, rectangle also, square also. So you will have to think about this type of numbers. I hope I am clear about rectangle and square. Now, another example can come like this. 12. I can ask you a question like this. Arrange 12 uh, you, um, in the form of a rectangle using dot patterns in two manners. Two manners means what? See, 12 can be written as 3 into 4. Do you all agree? 12 can be written as 3 into 4. That means 1, 2, 3. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is one pattern. 3, 4 is a, or 12 can be written as 2 into 6 also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 12 can be arranged in the form of a rectangle in two different manners using dot patterns. So you have to understand the question carefully what is being asked from you. Now let us discuss the most interesting among all these patterns that is numbers which can be arranged in the form of a triangle as i said as i said uh, 0 and 1 we are not considering so which numbers can be arranged in the form of a triangle you have to pay attention here students okay now see here we have two triangles so let me take the first example one can i arrange can you see a uh, a triangle being formed that means 3 is a number with which I can arrange in the form of a triangle using dots next will be which number 1 2 3 4 now you see here this is also giving the pattern of a triangle so how many dots have come here 6 right Next will be how much? Now children, you have to understand this. I am going to tell you one formula from here. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I am getting a triangle. Now you will say, ma'am, this is not covered by the line. It does not have to be covered in the line. We should get, by joining the outlines, we should get the form of a triangle. So here, how many dots have I joined? Do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Next one will be how much then? Next one will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. And five. So how much you are getting? Fifteen. Now let us see the hidden pattern here. One plus two gives us three. One plus two plus three gives us six. 
1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 gives us 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 gives us 15. So, the next pattern will have how many dots or which number can be arranged in the form of a triangle. With this, what will you add? 6. So, 15 plus 6, 21. That means the next number which can be arranged in the form of a triangle is 21. So, from here, what can we conclude? We can conclude that numbers which can be written as the sum of consecutive natural numbers can be written or can be shown using dots in the form of a triangle. I'll repeat numbers which can be written as sum of consecutive natural numbers. See, one is a natural number. Sum of consecutive natural numbers can be arranged in the form of triangle. So, if I ask you, can 18 be arranged in the form of a triangle? So, what will you do? You will keep on adding like this. My question is, can 18 be arranged in the form of a triangle? So, let me start writing it. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is how much? 15. And how much is remaining? 16, 17, 18, 3. Is it possible? No. That means with 18, you cannot get a triangle pattern. With 18, what pattern can you get? Can you get a square? No. Can you get a line? Yes. Because all numbers except 0 and 1 can be arranged in the form of a line. Can it be arranged in the form of a rectangle? Yes. Two nines are 18. So you can arrange it in the form of a um, in the form of a um, rectangle. I hope I am clear with the dot patterns. This is a very important part of your whole numbers. How can you arrange whole numbers using some patterns? So we have learned here patterns with dot patterns of whole numbers. The basic shapes line, square, rectangle and triangle. Okay. Now, I ask a question and please uh, you write down these examples, okay? These triangles examples are very important. You need to write it down in your notebook. All these examples should be written in your notebook, okay? You can uh, give the heading like this. Uh, example of numbers which can be arranged in the form of Rectangle, example of numbers which can be arranged in the form of square, example of numbers which can be arranged in the form of triangle. In your book, there is a table made where you have to put a tick against the numbers which can be arranged in what form. Please do that. Now, let me ask an example. Can you tell a whole number which if I multiply A, we are considering as a whole number. Can you give an example of a whole number which when multiply with itself gives the answer 1? Think and okay, here I cannot ask you so let me give the answer. What will be that whole number? 1. 1 into 1 gives us 1. So here what is um, the whole number which we should consider in place of A? It should be 1. Now, let me tell you another example. Uh, can you have a whole number where if you add a plus a is equal to a? So, which whole number will come here that if you add, then you get the same number? Well, here a will be how much? 0. 0 plus 0 will give you 0. I hope I am clear with this example in your book then you will complete the third exercise where it is given which number will represent um, uh, will not represent zero or something like that um, those questions are there exercise 2.3 you need to finish that exercise and their questions and patterns are also there you try if 
you cannot do in my live um, session class please ask me your queries now let me do another example of distributive property which is there in the last exercise and uh, this time you will have to um, see this example also distributive all this time we had done examples like this suppose we had numbers like 75 into 101 so what we did 75 into 100 plus 1 we have done but suppose i have a number 75 into 123 then and i ask you to use property to solve it then how can you do it children now the rule remains same you will um, expand one of the numbers and the numbers where more number of zero comes more number of zero means hundred thousand those type of number comes and calculation becomes easy we consider those type of numbers so 123 can be written as 100 plus 20 plus 3 so this looks like what as I said I cannot do without writing formula and I expect you also to write the formula every time you solve a sum. My writing will go out of the boat so I am writing it below only a into b plus a into c is equal to a into b plus c. This is applicable when there are two. I have three here. So what will happen? One D will come, isn't it? A into B plus C plus D. So here what will happen? One more term will come. A into B plus A into C plus A into D. That is 75 into 100 plus 75 into 20 plus 75 into 3. So the calculation you see instead of doing this, this is more easy. I don't have to do any rough work i can do the calculation mentally 14 15 5 3 is a 15 21 22 so add up 5 2 5 5 10 11 12 2 carry 1 7 8 and 1 9 isn't it so the calculation is easy you have to copy down this example also and students whatever is there in your book the exercise you need to complete all the exercise thank you